Hello. Welcome back to Please Read Your Book. My name is Carl, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you why I read crime fiction. Okay, welcome back. So like I said in the intro, this video is an attempt to explain why I prefer reading crime fiction over other genres of fiction. So I guess before I get into some of the reasons why, uh, I should give a little definition of the term. So when I talk about crime fiction, I'm talking about fiction writing that is centered around either the act of committing a crime, the act of investigating a crime, or both. And it can also entail the, the planning of the crime, the actual committing of the crime. It can be also about the aftermath of the crime. And for me, crime fiction is focused more on the actual criminal activity itself and not necessarily on the policing or the investigation of the crime. I think of that more as mystery and detective fiction. So there you go. So the first reason that I've got is that for me, crime fiction tends to be grounded in reality more than other genres of fiction. So I think some of the more interesting crime fiction that, that comes to mind is usually something that takes place in the real world in a very, almost in a mundane way, almost in an everyday way. It could be, you know, very, what could be very common crimes or small crimes and taking something that's very realistic and telling stories within that and using that as a sort of flashpoint or a spark to go on and tell much, much larger stories. So I'm thinking, for example, we can think about something like a novel like Clockers by Richard Price, which is basically just about selling drugs, which unfortunately, something that's very common, but he's able to tell this massive story and tell all these individual stories of the sellers, of the users, of the people who live in the neighborhoods that are affected, of the police that kind of try to stop it, uh, even of people in the criminal justice system. So from taking just one small, very realistic thing, we're also able to explore other parts of society. Okay, so that leads to the next reason why, and that's really about the, it becomes more about the explanation or exploration of human nature. So good crime writing is not just going to chronicle on the surface level about, you know, who's committing this crime, how they're doing it, do they get caught, and what are the consequences. It's going to be more about the internal landscape of who are these people who are involved in this crime or who are impacted or affected by this crime. And a good, a good crime writer, a good crime fiction writer, a good crime fiction novel will really be about telling human stories. Okay, so the next point is attention to detail, which kind of links, I guess, back to the first point about grounded in reality, but attention to detail is extremely important for good crime fiction. Now, when I say attention to detail, I don't mean chronicling or detailing every tiny little thing. I mean more about focusing on what are the important details that the reader needs to know. And so one of my favorite, two of my favorite novels, which are Drive and Driven, uh, are by James Salas, are all about a guy who drives cars. He's a, he's a stunt driver and also a getaway driver. And so a key component in telling those stories is moments where he chooses a car for a specific reason and he fixes it up. And James Salas did tons of research on cars and on the types of cars used in stunt driving and in getaways and how those kinds of drivers look for and select those types of cars and also the kinds of modifications 
that are made to those cars. And he incorporated that in his writing. Also, uh, one, another writer that comes to mind who's excellent at this is Michael Connelly with his, uh, with his Bosch novels. Bosch is a detective. I'm not a huge fan of detective novels, but these are very good novels. And Connolly did tons of research, tons of homework, lots of ride-alongs with LA detectives and LA police so that he knew exactly what his characters were supposed to know. All right, so my next point is about social commentary. And I commented earlier about a novel called Clockers by Richard Price. And Richard Price is a great crime fiction novelist, and I think he's kind of kind of become forgotten um, in more recent times, but he's definitely so good and so underrated. And his novel Clockers is a great example of a crime novel that is actually a social commentary novel. So all crimes impact society. All crimes have victims. All crimes have different kinds of victims. And even the criminals themselves can also become victims. And I think good crime writing helps us see that, helps us understand that, and helps us become more sympathetic to the lives and the people who are impacted by crime. And also, we can also have social commentary too on things like the criminal justice system. We can have social commentary on the political forces that influence and shape neighborhoods for better and for worse. And that often also results in fostering an environment in which crime can thrive. All right, and that leads me to the last point I wanna make, and that is an emphasis on consequences. So all crimes have consequences, even crimes that maybe don't go punished in terms of criminal justice, in terms of getting caught and going to jail, but there are always consequences. And the consequences are obviously on the victims, but also on the people who commit the crimes. There could be consequences too. Maybe other people are out trying to get them or trying to kill them. Um, maybe their lives are dramatically changed and impacted. They might have to be on the run for the rest of their life. They might have to assume new identities. So again, good crime writing, along with having social commentary and attention to detail, also is about consequences, the results and the aftermath of the crime. Okay, and so there you have it. There are five reasons why I love to read crime fiction. If you read crime fiction and you've got some other reasons that you enjoy reading crime fiction for, please feel free to share some of those in the comments. I hope you've liked this and maybe there'll be more videos like this to come soon. So once again, my name is Carl and this has been Please Read Your Book. I hope to see you again soon.